up all my battle buddies, this is Battlecry75. Now, oh, and if you haven't noticed, yes, these are two new riders with me. Um, a while back I was talking about a uh, Ninja 250, uh, and it ended up just being a horrible video, so I didn't show it. These two dudes are friends from me from high school. They both got Ninja 250s at the time, same time. They're both pieces of shit, so they wouldn't go buy Ninja 650s all at the same time. And uh, they've been riding me a little while, and they were just flipping out. They were like, Battle Cry fucking choking me. Battle Cry, go make a fucking video of us. So I'm like, okay, I'll go make a video of you. And like, they, they forced me to make a video today. So this video is brought to, to you by Paul. 650. Josh. 650. And, uh, and, uh, well, this poor guy right here on my right, Josh, on the burnt orange candy metallic 650, uh, man, he was helping, he went to a different store. Uh, from where he works, and he's helping his boss move an ice machine, and these two blonde bitches were playing on his motorcycle, and they were fucking picking it up, and they were playing with it, and they were like, oh, this is such a pretty motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. and they knocked it over, and he's giving me the, the, the girly part signs, and he knocked it, he knocked his bike over, just, boom, just knocked it over, oh, I'm furious about that, I'm mad, he was uh, okay with it, but he, I think he's pissed. And they, they like scratched his mirror and broke his freaking brake lever and scratched his bike all up on the right side. Because he, he's over here helping his boss and they're just like, yeah, I like to play with motorcycles. You know, with no one around. They're like, oh, no, I'm going to be fine. And they dropped his bike. And oh my God, dude. Who? <laughs> the right mind would even jump on someone's motorcycle without them being there. If you ever do that, you are fucking low life. Go kill yourself. I had a guy do that to me once, and I walked outside, and I told him, dude, if you don't get off my bike, I will beat your ass with my helmet. That was, that was back when I first had my 600, and uh, that's never happened to me again, but what? What do you want? You go! <laughs> it's never happened to me again, but if it does, dude, I'll hurt somebody. In my, in my view, it's, it's disrespectful to the rider and to the person that's riding the bike for you just to jump on their bike without permission. It's very disrespectful and it's like you spitting in their face. I mean, that's, that's just how I see it. You don't ever just jump on someone's motorcycle. You get, you, you ask that person. But yeah, that, well fine, I'll go. They're still very new to riding. Um, they've only been riding for maybe two months now. Um, they're getting better. They, I've been riding with them since they first started. And they get, they, they get jealous of me. They're like, okay, I'll be doing wheels and stuff. Why can I do that? And, <laughs> and I've been riding with them. And uh, they're getting better. Like, this guy right here, Josh, is very good through the curves. And uh, he's, he, he's topped his bike out already, which is only 130. This guy right here is a lot safer rider. He's progressed just as much, but he's a lot safer than this guy back here. This guy learned after me back here. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I started doing stand-up wheelies, thanks to Downshift83, and I'll put a little link right in between my fingers. And, uh, yeah, he, he uh, gave me some little pointers about what type of speed and what gear to do it in, and, and I was able to do it, and I was, oh, my God, it's so scary. I had little butterflies in my stomach. Oh, it was terrifying. Anyway, we're coming to eat breakfast at Big Eddie's, which is an amazing Cajun restaurant for breakfast people. They put, like, shrimp and catfish in your omelets. <laughs> anyway, all right, my little battle buddies. I will see you later. Is it, is it done recording? Okay, press it.